Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with my monthly favorites. So we are on the month of March. Y'all, I've been doing good. I've been keeping up with my monthly favorites. So if you have missed my January and February favorites, I'll have them linked down below. But yeah, I didn't have many items this month. So I thought about skipping, but I was just like, I love doing my monthly favorites. So I wanna keep it going. So I did come up with a few things that I actually enjoyed. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing, um, I have makeup, skincare, a body cream, and the rest are perfumes. So if y'all are interested in that, then keep on watching. All right, so first I'll start with my, my makeup items, and I'm actually wearing both of them today. This first one is this Tinted Moisturizer. Yay, another Tinted Moisturizer. Um, y'all did see that I tried this out. If you guys watched the video this past month and this is the l'oreal skin paradise water infused tenant moisturizer and i have it in the shade deep zero one y'all i love this as y'all can see i have it on it looks really good the only thing i didn't like about this tenant moisturizer is that it had an spf of 19 which is not much at all so you pretty much have to end up adding something else to your face if you want to have a um, higher SPF. So that was pretty much the only thing, but as I have been wearing it this month, I did notice that my face gets a little oily uh -er, with this tenant moisturizer. So I do have to set my face. Pretty much I am adding more makeup to my face than I would like with this because it does give me a lot of oiliness. So. Um, it was my favorite for this month because I used it the most, but I would say if I had to choose between this and the Laura Mercier, I would choose the Laura Mercier. But this is on the cheaper end, so if you guys are looking for a a more inexpensive moisture tinted moisturizer, then this is really good. Like, this is one of the best that I've tried because I remember years ago when they created like CC cream scented moisturizers. They weren't good so yeah this is really good and I was actually surprised with this and they have a good amount of shades that most people would be able to match their skin with so yeah I really enjoyed this this month and the last makeup item is actually a lipstick um and this is the CoverGirl Katy Perry um this is the Katy Cat matte lipstick and this is in Sphinx Sphinx I've had this for a while y'all know I'm someone who likes to use up myself whether it's body care perfumes and I love makeup and I love to use up my makeup so um if y'all didn't know I'm like a lip junkie which is why I love to do lip swatch videos I love lipsticks I love glosses I love anything that has to do with the lips I just love a lot of things okay <laughs> so um I used to collect a lot of lipsticks and stuff and I decluttered now I just have like one little drawer of lip items so that's good because it used to be three drawers full of lip items but um, I've moved on to this and I've really been enjoying this it reminded me of why I have this in my collection how I love this formula I'm actually wearing it today with a lip liner and I love it the reason why I switched to this is because I actually finished a full lipstick yay that you guys will see in my upcoming empties but yeah I've moved on to this as my everyday lipstick and I believe they still have these I'm not sure if so um if not then I'll have it I'll say below that these are not these are no longer sold but um when Katy Perry partnered up with CoverGirl I really enjoyed this for the lipstick so I think I have another one from them like a a darker color but this will be my everyday lipstick to grab so yeah I've been enjoying that this month moving on to skincare I only have one skincare skincare item and this is from Dermalogica. This is their Dynamic Skin Recovery Broad Spectrum Moisturizer. So this is like a face moisturizer. And it has SPF of 50, y'all. I don't know how true it is. I've never had any moisturizer with an SPF that high, but they said it's an SPF of 50, and this is also an Age Smart Moisturizer. So I've really been enjoying this. Um, it really doesn't have a scent. This is what the pump looks like. Let me make sure it doesn't have a scent. Yeah, it just kind of smells like SPF, like sunscreen, to be honest. If it does have a scent, it has a sunscreen scent. Um, but it's so thin. It does not give me a white cast. It feels like a thin lotion going on your face. And I feel really good about wearing this, especially when I know I'm going to be out in the sun. Because as y'all know, I use like a lot of um, 
skincare to fade my dark marks and stuff and you really have to protect your skin from the sun especially when using those items so I feel like I'm really protecting my skin and yeah I've really been enjoying this y'all so if you are looking for a good face moisturizer that you want to guarantee that you are protecting your skin from the sun then I definitely recommend this it's really good and it feels good it gives me a nice little glow just love it and now we're going to move on to the it's not the only moisturizer I've been using but the one that I have been I have fallen in love with and this is the Bath and Body Works Rose Champagne Body Cream. Y'all, last time y'all saw this, I hauled it. And I was in love with it when I hauled it. And I was just like, I wish I would have gotten another one. And y'all, I definitely feel the same way. <laughs> this is just, it's so good. It's so good. It's a sparkling, sparkling rose. Isn't that the name? Yeah, rose champagne. It's It smells sparkly. <sighs> sweet like a, a little fruity and I believe it has apple blossom so it has sparkling rose citrus splash and apple blossom y'all it just smells so good this lasts on me literally the whole day when I get in the shower at the end of the night I can still smell it when I'm the steam when I step into the shower and it's steaming I can smell that in my fragrance that I choose to wear that day just coming off of me in the shower and it just smells so good of course it's a body cream so it's moisturizing but for, for the most part, I really love this for these scents. And it goes with a lot of my perfumes that I've been wearing. So, yeah, I have really, really been enjoying this. All right, now we're moving on to the last section of my favorites. And these are pretty much just fragrances that I've been enjoying. Y'all know I did show you all what was on my spring tray. that I want The perfumes that I wanted to focus on this spring. Well, I have two of them. That, I have, that I've been wearing a lot and enjoying. And the first one is the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. And y'all see where I am now? Okay, so. This is, I can't find the notes anywhere. I don't know where it is. So I don't really know what notes are in here. Let me spray it because my, my scent of the day has come off. I don't really know what notes are in here, but I know it's a light, sweet floral. It may even have a little bit of musk, maybe white musk in it. But it's very light. And to me, I don't know, it's relaxing. And so I did wear this during the day one day and it did not hold up. It turned into a skin scent. It didn't last that long on me at all. So I started wearing it to bed because it's just a calming, relaxing fragrance. It's just light, sweet, and I don't know, it just reminds me of bed, of a bed, bedtime pretty much. So I've been wearing this to bed so many, so many nights this month. Um, I've used a lot because of that. So yeah, I definitely just spray after I lotion up, oil up, whatever I'm putting on that night. I spray this all over and oh, it smells so good. Some days I can smell it in the morning and some days I don't smell it at all when I wake up in the morning. So I guess it depends on what base I use and I really don't remember. Oh, but it smells so good. It's just very light. A light sweet. So yeah, this has been my favorite as far as a bedtime favorite scent for the month of March. Moving on to the other fragrance that has that is on my perfume tray that I've really been enjoying. This first, the second one is... Mangerlan, the Bloom of Rose, and this is the EDT. Y'all, I love this. Y'all know I love Mangerlan. This is not up there with the original EDP, but Bloom of Rose is really good. It's light. It's light. It's a citrusy rose. It's light. I know Opinionated Sense said, stated that she does not like this one and that it kind of smells sporty. And when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? She's right. It does smell like a citrusy rose that's sporty. Ugh, it's so good, which explains why I have been enjoying wearing this in the evenings when I go to my son's uh, soccer practice. So he has soccer practice once a week. And I literally choose this perfume every single time. Because normally I wear fragrance throughout, throughout the day and then it wears off. And then I choose to wear this when I know I'm going to be outside, out in the field or whatever, walking around the track because they have a track out there instead of park. 
and this is what I've been choosing to wear. So it's like a citrusy rose that's a little sporty and I love it. I enjoy it. I really enjoy this. I've been wearing this a lot as y'all know. So at least I wore it at least four or five times because I've been wearing it to the practices as well as the games that they have on the weekend. So I love this. I've really been enjoying this. Next two were not on my perfume tray and when I tried them out I've been loving them. This first one is and they're both from KKW. All right so this first one is the crystal. This is the peach crystal y'all. But the crystal peach who is so juicy. It smells so good. Mm. I just love this. It's like a juicy peach and it kind of smells like a peach cocktail as well. I don't know if it's the alcohol in it, but it smells like a juicy peach cocktail. It makes my mouth water. Um, it lasts on me a decent amount of time. I just feel good. It's fruity. It's juicy. It's fun. So I've really been enjoying this um, on the sunny days that we have. I feel like this will be a good one for summertime. And yeah, I love this so much. This is probably my favorite crystal. The peach one. Yeah, it is my favorite crystal. So yeah, I've been spraying this like crazy. Oh, it's just so good. I can't get enough of it. So yeah, if y'all haven't tried this, definitely try it out. I love this. I think it's a good one for summer. Next, we have the KKW. This is the Rose Gold Hearts. Y'all, I wore this yesterday. It's something about this fragrance that's very unique. I feel like a lot of her scents smell like Bath and Body Works scents or the other hearts do. And um, they also smell like something that, that I've smelled before. But this one does not smell like anything that I've smelled before. If y'all have tried this, let me know if you feel like this smells like something that you've tried. But I can't think of anything that this smells like. I feel like this is one of her unique fragrances and it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe this. I don't know it's sweet it's I really can't describe it I would have to really think on what I think about this fragrance but y'all it's good I know I believe last month it was last month that I said that I like the uh, silver heart the most and that I felt like it smelled like um C. Passione which I do agree it still it still does kind of smell similar to that it's in that same family but I think this one may be my favorite and I feel like most people would have this one as their favorite. It smells so good. So last night I wore this. We went to Target super late as y'all saw in my little shorts video. Um, so we were in Target. We went out. To, we went to go get food. We went to Target and people just kept looking back. You know how people, um, not everybody gives you compliments, but you can notice when someone wants to compliment you or like, you know, they show that they are thinking something good about you but they don't say anything well i've gotten a lot of head turns passing by people and i know they were smelling my perfume because i could smell it through my mask just floating around and i know i was giving a whiff as i was passing by um yeah i know they smelled it and i know they loved it <laughs> so um yeah y'all i love this i think this would be a good compliment getter if someone feels comfortable enough giving you a compliment <laughs> People can smell it through their mask, and I know they could smell it yesterday because I definitely oversprayed, oversprayed, oversprayed. And you can do this with this fragrance because it's not too heavy, but um, you can spray a lot, and it's just not too much. It just smells good. Um, I had on like a hoodie yesterday because it was kind of it was rainy, and it's still on that hoodie till this day. Oh, and I kept getting whiffs of it today because I just had the hoodie on my bed. Y'all, it smells so good and I love it. I cannot wait to wear this, continue to wear this. I feel like this scent is good for all seasons. It doesn't have like a particular season that it's good for. I love this. So, and the bottle is so pretty too. Y'all know I love hearts. So, yeah, y'all, that is it for my favorites. Um, comment down below some of your favorites from any category because y'all know I love it all. Comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up if you did. And um, also hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel and to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed the content and I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.